I'm uh, uh, on the president's detail in the Secret Service. And, um, you know, I think pro part of the story of the movie is that it's unusual to be a woman in that position. I think, you know, and I guess for me, in the script, she's, you know, she's obviously, she's smart, she's powerful, she's capable, she's all of those things. Um, but I was mostly, that was so obvious to me, I was mostly interested in, like, all the other parts of her, you know, um, because I think all of us are sort of trying to manage being professionals and capable, but there's all these other things coming up, like, you know, she's hot for Channing's character, she's exhausted. When they bump into each other in the hallway, that's kind of the first time her body and like all these other parts of her sort of start to bubble up. And I think she would love to hire him. She would love to be with him every day and see him every day. I mean, so would many people, but she can't. I mean, he's just not qualified, you know? I didn't think I would care at all about seeing any of these things. And then when I was here, and I was like, that's the Capitol building, and I do want to see it, and I wanted to get as close to it as I could. And I felt attached to these monuments in a way that I don't feel when I go to Paris or London. I don't I'm gonna go by them in a taxi or something. You're like, oh, that's cool. It's an old building. But I felt some kind of patriotism that I didn't know I had. Even like on the side of um, this building, they carved the First Amendment in stone at like the news museum here. And I was like, I, I read it. I was like, yes, I believe in that. Like in my blood, I believe in that. You know, I do. First of all, it's a party, this movie. I mean, I went to see it. I hadn't seen it until last night and my girlfriend was sitting next to me and she was like, screaming at the screen and you're allowed to in this movie I mean it's like a get out of the heat get into the air conditioning like go to a party kind of movie and I can completely get into that but not if it doesn't make me think about anything and I don't think anybody wants one of those that doesn't make you think about anything I mean like it's insulting when like it doesn't make you think about anything I think everybody wants like a little nugget and um, you know this one I mean I think it's saying a lot of interesting things about this country and about the world. I mean, I love at the last minute how the guy flying the actual fighter plane is there's a person in there and he decides not to bomb at the last minute because there's a person in the plane. I mean, I think that's that's saying something. I mean, I think I think even, you know, the attempt at trying to work it out with your enemies, trying to have a conversation, trying to, I mean, that's saying something about the way we exist in the world. And, and I love all that, you know, and I would not make this movie if it was quietly saying things I didn't believe in. You know, I wouldn't. I loved Jamie. You know, and he would make me laugh so hard that Roland had to come into the helicopter and say, stop making Maggie laugh. But then I just decided Carol Finnerty loves the president. I mean, like, she would, she's a Secret Service agent, she would go down for anyone, but she's lucky that she loves the president so much because he happens to be Jamie Foxx, you know?